Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the OnePlus 10T. Now the T stands for top tier. This is a top tier mid-range phone. Now when I say mid-range phones, I mean phones that cost between five and 700 bucks. Now the price on this one with the early bird special is 650 bucks. I repeat, 650 bucks. Now that's for 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. On a side note, that's a pretty dope deal. All right, so let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in two different colors. You got Moonstone and Jade. In other words, black and green. For the display, you got a 6.7 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2412. Now that's 394 for the PPI Patrol. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back. You got a plastic frame. You got HDR 10 plus and a 120 Hertz refresh rate. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 plus generation one with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight, 12 or 16 gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with Oxygen OS 12.1. For the cameras on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro sensor. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second on the back, on the front, 1080p. Now check this out. This is the best part about this phone, the battery. You got a 4,800 milliamp battery that features 150 watt fast charge. Now on a side note, if you live in the USA, we only got 110 volts, so you can get a 125 watt fast charge, but still, that's ridiculous. Now OnePlus claims you could charge your phone from zero to 67% in 10 minutes, and zero to 100% in 19 minutes. That's insane, and we're gonna put it to the test. Now you got dual stereo speakers, you got Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 6, NFC, always on display, face unlock, and an on-screen fingerprint sensor. All right, so all of that for 650 bucks, let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes, I love my white shoes. White Shoes, I love my calm down. <laughs> okay, here we go. OnePlus 10T. Now yesterday y'all seen the 9T, at the end of this video, I'm gonna let y'all know which one do I like better, but as of right now, I'm still leaning toward the 9T. Okay, but we'll see, we'll see. Now, let's say this first. A lot of y'all been watching OnePlus 10 videos all day long, and I've been getting the same comments on my channel. Everybody saying, oh, OnePlus lost their way. You know, OnePlus is not the same anymore. But if you really think about it, they kinda are. OnePlus phones are basically known for being super fast, reliable, super smooth, Okay, and the OnePlus 10 Pro is just that. The 9 Pro was just that. The 10T, same thing. Super fast, reliable, buttery smooth. And one thing that you gotta respect about OnePlus, they never cheaped out on the presentation. Okay, you still got that beautiful red box. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the red box. I'm not gonna give y'all no giggity on that one. But as far as the actual red boxes go, this is nice. All right, you gotta give them credit. They never took the charge out of the box. <clears throat> Apple, Samsung, Google. All right, they didn't follow that bullshit trend. They still giving you a nice presentation, okay? So let's see what you get inside. Now this is gonna be, let's see, we got a little tab right here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, now let's see. Let me see if they if they they still got. Oh, look, see this one. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You still get the OnePlus Troll stickers. Okay, so anybody that you know have a Pixel, you got to stick this on the back back of their neck. Okay, you got all your usual books and shit. Plug them and follow them. Okay, now look at this. You got a little OTG. This is a uh, USB A, USB Type C. Let me put that in my pocket because I know shoes is like. Oh, let me see that. This is gonna be your device. And bong, here it is. Now this is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. 100 and th this is actually a 160 watt charging brick. Okay, so you can charge your MacBooks, your laptops, you can charge anything you want with this. But you're gonna get 150 watt charging speeds, depending on which region you're in. Now I'm in the USA. Still 120 watt fast charge. I love it. 
I love it. And of course, one of my favorites, the red USB Type-C charging cable. Now this is USB Type-C to USB Type-C. And of course, the Coupe de Gras, we got the 10T. Now let me uh, peel the stick off the back. Okay, it's gonna wipe down. Bang, here it is. Now this is Moonstone Black. Now, for the purpose of this video, watch this. Let's uh, wipe down. For the purpose of this video, I let this battery die completely. Now let's see if we have how much juice we got on it now. I'm surprised it even started up. Okay. Let's let that load up real quick. And we're gonna do a quick battery comparison, okay? We're gonna see which one of these T phones charge the fastest. Now let's make sure both of them are actually dead. Okay, now this one is completely dead. And let's let the one pup uh, <laughs> let's let the one plus power up and I'll make sure it's completely dead also. Alright, so now we got the one plus 10T completely dead. So first we're gonna check the zero to the 10 minute time and then the zero to 20 minute time. Let's get and plug this in. We'll hit start. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, so we're coming up on 10 minutes. Now I like doing these little scientific tests. <laughs> this way we gotta call bullshit if we see it. Let's find out, okay? <laughs> 10 minutes is supposed to be 67%. Now I'll be happy with 60%, but let's see. Okay, so 10 minutes went by. Let's see where we at. Battery percentage. Okay, 53%. Okay, so we had 53% in 10 minutes. Let's get and write that down. 10 minutes, 53%. Okay, now, the um, <laughs> the 67%, that's probably with 150 watt fast charging. So for the USA, this is the time you're gonna get. Okay, so 53% in 10 minutes. Now let's see how we get after the uh, 20 minute mark. And on the side note, <laughs> <laughs> she was just here for the scientific experiments too. All right, so I'll see y'all again in 20 minutes. All right, so we're coming up on 20 minutes. Now remember, it's supposed to be zero to 100% in 19 minutes. So let's find out if this is the real deal or if this is cap. Now on a side note, remember, in the USA, we're only gonna get 125 watt charging, so I'm not expecting it to be at 100%, but if it's at 90%, I'm gonna call this a win. Okay, anything under 90% after 20 minutes, then we gotta call that claim straight cap. Okay, here we go. Birdman hands rubbing together. This is the moment of truth. 20 minutes. Let's see. Okay, let's open this up. 20 minutes, we're at, ah, uh, <laughs> 20 minutes, we're at 91%. Okay, 91%. So, let's write that down, 91%. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call this, this is the truth, all right? Because if it was 150 watts, it would have definitely been 100%. This is the real deal right here, okay? This is the definition of shit, shower, and shave, okay? 91% in 21 minutes, or 20 minutes actually, that's incredible. Now, let's start, let's start, let's stop the timer. Okay, we're reset. Now, we got a dead 9T. We're gonna plug this one in, same charger. Let's hit start, and we'll do the same thing, okay? We're gonna wait 10 minutes, and then wait 20 minutes, and see who wins the battle of the fast charging phones. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I decided to cancel that battery charging speed test for the IQ9T, because I wanna do this fairly. Now, I left the box upstairs. I wanna use the Vivo charger and the Vivo cable, so this way nobody can say, well, it's going slower because you're using OnePlus, or it's faster because you're using OnePlus. I wanna do this completely fair. So tomorrow, when I do my Xiaomi 12 Ultra review, I'll update y'all with the uh, battery charging speeds, and we'll also test out the 12 Ultra. All right, so back to the 10T. Now, as usual, there's always gonna be some things that I don't like, so let's talk about those first. Now, I'm not gonna get extra petty, all right, I'm not gonna nitpick them to death because the price, all right? 650 bucks for 16 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. As Bob Barker would say, that price is right, okay? But anyway, there's some things that I don't like. Number one, no IP rating, okay? Now, it's not the biggest deal in the world, 
But when you're spending over 500 bucks on the phone, you want it to be durable. Now, I know some of y'all gonna say, well, you know, OnePlus, they never had real IP ratings except for certain models, but they pretty much all water resistant. They just don't wanna pay for that IP rating. That's cool, that's fine, you know, that's fine. That's cool in the game. But I like to have my IP rating in writing. All right, so this way, if they say IP67, I know that I could go outside, wash my car, get it wet. I'm not gonna have any issues. Now this one might be splash proof. It might even be fully water resistant, but I like to have the IP rating in writing. Okay, this one doesn't have it. So if you work outdoors or you're always gonna be in the water, you might wanna look for another phone. Next, no quad HD display, not the biggest in the world. Look at the price. Next, no expandable memory. Now that's kind of a big deal for me. Not necessarily having expandable memory, but I need more storage. Now, funny story just happened last night. I just last night, I was trying to download Dropbox on one of my other phones, because I had to send some files to somebody, and I couldn't even download Dropbox. I'm like, what's going on? Is my internet messed up? Oh, then I had to re remember like, oh, hold on a second. Let me check my storage. My phone was completely full. Now I'll be taking a lot of videos. So my phone was completely full. I had to delete some apps, delete some videos, just to download one app. So if this is gonna be your main phone for two, three years, maybe even longer, you're gonna want more storage. 256 gigs, that's a lot, but that ain't enough. If you're gonna have no expandable memory, they need to have a 512 gig option on the market. Next, no headphone jack, that shit's whack, hashtag bars, I don't really care about that. Next, now this is something, this is kinda petty, but this is something I gotta mention, okay? The always on display. Now this is part, this is a two part dislike uh, this is a two-part dislike, right? Two for the price of one. Here's two things that I don't like. Oxygen OS and the lack of customization. And one of those lack of customizations is the always-on display. You really don't got too many always-on displays to choose from, and you can't put a custom image. I don't like that, okay? I like to have my custom images on my always-on display. Look, let's, let's pull out my one, OnePlus 10 Pro. I look at, the, you see the custom image? White shoes on deck. This OnePlus 10 Pro, this is the Chinese version. This one has Color OS, okay? Global version, Oxygen OS. And here's my argument. I know a lot of y'all OnePlus nut huggers. Y'all always talking about, oh, Oxygen OS is so good. It's so good, it's so smooth and clean and pure. My thing is, how could you not, how could you like the Oxygen OS and not like Color OS when it's pretty much the same thing but better? How could you not like something that's the same thing and better? I don't understand that. That's like, if we take it to, to the world of cars, that's like somebody saying, oh, I like the BMW 335, but I don't like the M3 of the same year. How could you not like the M3 when it's the same car, but better with more features? I don't understand that. And let me give you a perfect example. Let's open both of these up. This will be a perfect example. All right, so we're gonna take it to settings on both of these phones. Okay, now one, the 10 Pro has um, Color OS and Oxygen OS. Now, if you notice, the Color OS and Oxygen OS, they pretty much look the same. But let's go to personalization, okay? You see, always on displays. Now, here's the uh, 10T with uh, Oxygen OS. Here's your always on displays, all right? So that's my recent one. You got three featured. You got a text clock. You got a couple of analog clocks and digital clocks. That's it. Now, let's take the Color OS. You see, I got custom images. You got your Bitmoji, personalization. All right, you got these. You got a bunch of system provided, bunch of different clocks, and you can download plenty more. Okay, plenty more. Not to mention, let's go to one more. Let me show you something else. Let's go to special features. Okay, let's hit up special features on both of these. Look at the difference. You see, with Color OS, you got flexible windows. Okay, you got smart slider, which is this. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but I love that. That's like an edge panel kind of kind of thing. I love that. When you're on certain apps, you hit the smart slider. You see, I got custom apps set up. It's just lack of customization, lack of features. Okay, so I wish that OnePlus would just jump on Color OS. Okay, now on a side note, I tried Color OS 13 on my Oppo 5, X5. It's crazy. And here's another thing about color, uh, Oxygen OS. Watch this. Now, let's go back to always on display. Let that pop up. You see my notifications? You see that? Notifications come in white. 
Now with Color OS, when you get notifications on your always on display, they're gonna come in the same exact color of the icon. It's gonna be the actual app icon. So say I got an Instagram, it's gonna be the pink Instagram logo, the actual app. You got a Gmail, it's gonna be red. You got Nest, it's gonna be blue. All of the, app, the notifications on this come in white. I don't like that. I like to look at my phone from far away. I can see all of my notifications on deck. That's kind of petty, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Next, no 4K on the front facing camera. Uh, you can shoot 1080p, but if it's just gonna be your vlogging phone, uh, you out here making videos, you want 4K. No 4K on the front facing camera. Next, the plastic frame. Now, it's not really a big deal. It's not really a big deal, but when you hold the OnePlus, when you hold the, the, the 10 Pro and the 10T, even though the 10T kind of feels a little bit heavier, okay, it kind of feels a little bit heavier, the 10 Pro definitely has a, a better feel to it. Again, I'm not gonna really knock them too much because you are saving some money, and I do want to mention one thing. If you got a black, a black 10 Pro, the black 10T actually looks better. You see the back of this kind of has that satin feel to it. It looks better than the 10 Pro. But if you notice, look at the camera. You see the camera module? This is one piece ceramic. Okay, one piece ceramic on the, um, on the 10 Pro. This is just like the Oppos. You see the all one piece of glass. All right, so this is not a two part camera hump. It's just one piece of glass and this part is painted. On the 10 Pro, this is a piece of ceramic right over the back. It wraps all the way around. And of course you got the Hasselblad branding. Okay, now this brings me to another thing that I don't like about the OnePlus 10T. And pretty much the same thing about all OnePlus phones. They're pretty much kind of boring. They don't really have any gimmicks. What sets this phone apart from every other phone in the market? Okay, now if I pull up the Vivo, the 9T, what sets this phone apart from that phone? IR Blaster. Okay, you got floating windows, you got edge panels. Okay, and then we pull out the big boy phones, you got the Leica camera setup, you got Hasselblad. Okay, you got all of these fancy. This is pretty much kind of a boring phone, but boring in a good way. Boring in a good way. Next, no alert slider. Now, this is not a deal breaker for me. Okay, y'all remember the, the classic OnePlus alert slider? You see, you put it on solid, vibrate, and ring. Now look, I retired from the scumbag life, but if you official scumbag status, you want that alert slider, all right? You chilling with your girl, all right? You got your annoying baby moms start sending you 101 texts. You getting them Pizza Hut texts while you chilling. All you got to do is reach your finger in your pocket, boop, leave me the F alone, okay? Very clandestinely. You can have your phone on the table. All right, somebody blowing up your phone. You could just be like, boop. You don't even got to look. I like that feature. <laughs> I like that. And you don't have to be a scumbag to use that. It's just a nice, convenient feature. You know, you, you got your phone on, on regular, on, re on full full alerts. Now you meet somebody in the street, you start talking, you get into a conversation, and your phone is blowing up or whatever. You don't got to blow. Hold on a second, let me turn this shit. You could just be in the middle of a conversation, bong, okay. You don't want to be disrespectful. You get to the dinner table, hit the slider. Okay? Now, OnePlus said that it's not that they got rid of the slider completely, so maybe on the 11 Pro, the slider will return, but they had to cut some corners to save some money, so they got rid of the alert slider on the T-Series. I don't like that. I don't like that. Next, no IR blaster. Now, if it's a, if it's a company like Motorola or Apple or Sony, I wouldn't care. But Chinese phones, Realme, Redmi, Xiaomi, okay? A lot of these Chinese phones, Vivo, okay? They all got IR blasters. OnePlus, y'all need to jump on the bandwagon, IR blasters. Now I know, I already know what some of y'all getting ready to say because I was just going back and forth with this, <laughs> this cheese dick earlier this morning. Oh, who cares about IR blasters? Oh, just go to the TV and you know turn it on using your, using your finger if you can't find the remote. Just press the button on the TV. Let me explain something to you. If you got an 80 inch TV mounted on your wall and you in the bed, ain't nobody going up and trying to get behind a, a big ass TV. Ain't nobody doing that. Now, especially for people like me. Now, y'all seen the video for the Vivo yesterday. If you didn't, skip to the part where I showed you the IR Blaster test. If you got a whole bunch of different TVs from different manufacturers, a whole bunch of different gadgets, that IR Blaster is gonna come in so clutch. And especially for people like me that travel a lot, you know how many times I go to different hotels, all right? Now, when you go to certain hotels, they do not want you plugging in an HDMI cable and connecting your laptop. 
They want you to watch their movies. You want to watch your own scumbag movies, all right? You want to play PlayStation or whatever? They don't want you to do that. All right? They don't want you fumbling around in the back of the TV, certain places. You know how many times, and my girl could back me up on this, we had to pull the TV off the wall, I bring in my own HDMI cable, and you know, certain, certain hotels, the remote won't let you change the source. I whip out my IR blaster, and I can change the source to HDMI. Now I can play my PlayStation, I can get my scumbag activities on. All right, so IR blaster, I can't, under, I can't understate how much I like that. One plus jump on board, okay, we, we're gonna welcome you. Next, now this is my last gripe, my biggest gripe, and the same gripe I had yesterday with the 9T, no wireless charge. Now I know, zero to 100% in about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes in the USA, that's outstanding. Zero to zero to uh, 50% in 10 minutes, you can't beat that. But in order to get that charging speed, you're gonna have to walk around with this in your pocket. Okay, now, this is not the smallest charger, okay? And this one right here, the, the, the prongs don't even fold, so you're not gonna wanna have this in your pocket. Because if you sit down on these prongs, <laughs> okay? <laughs> You're gonna get poked. All right? You're gonna get poked by these prongs. You're not gonna like that. All right? You're not gonna like that. I will say this though: when I travel, I am gonna carry this around in my bag because this way, since you don't have wireless charge, okay, if you gotta go to the airport, I don't mind plugging this in, even if I gotta sit on the floor. You know that one person at the airport that's always on the floor with their phone charged in, uh, charging. I don't mind doing that if you got something like this because you're only gonna sit on the floor for ten minutes. But no wireless charge. Now I spent too much money on wireless chargers. I need to have wireless charge in my car, okay? In my bedroom, in the living room. Everywhere I go, I got wireless charges. I understand, okay? They had to cut some cut some features out to save money, but I don't like it. I don't, just because I understand it, don't mean I gotta like it. Now with that being said, let's get into everything that I do like. Now before I talk about everything that I do like, let me show you a couple of cases. First up, we got the sandstone bumper case. Now this is premium protection, durable fit, unique design. Okay, let me grab my little unboxing knife, hashtag GTP, get the poking. Here we go. Rah. Okay, let's see this one. Now this is the sandstone bumper case. Okay, now classic, classic one plus material. Uh, Y'all yeah, know the sandstone? This is original. When you feel the sandstone material, I know at least I do, the first thing I think of is one plus. Okay, let's drop this one on. Okay, here's how it's gonna look. Check the buttons. Okay, real nice. Little razivity on this, so it is Slam Boy certified. The classic sandstone case, okay? Let's keep it moving, we got one more. Now this one is gonna be the Glacier Matte Case. Okay, same specs on the back. Check this one out. This one comes in gray. Okay, now this one, the sides are actually wide open. Okay, now this one has a unique feel to it, okay? It kind of has the sand, it definitely has the sandstone feel to it, but it has that little red pattern in the back. Oh, I actually like this one. Now, no protection on the sides, but you do got protection on the top and the bottom. There's your buttons. But it does give it that nice red, you know, red hint on the back, little one plus branding. I like this one, okay? So a couple of cases from OnePlus. First, let's talk about the build quality. Now, even though it does have the plastic frame, it doesn't feel like plastic. Now, I was being a little bit dramatic earlier, but if somebody gave you this phone and you put it in your hand and they didn't tell you that it was plastic frame, you would not know, okay? If you held both of these phones, I think what makes it the OnePlus 10 Pro feel more premium, if you look at the sides, okay? On the 10T, you kind of have this glossy look to it, and on the 10 Pro, it's matte, the matte just has a more premium feel to it. But I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all. I didn't even know the frame was plastic until somebody texted me and was like, yo, when you do your OnePlus video, talk about the plastic frame. And the funny thing is, I had already been using the phone for a couple of days. I didn't even know the frame was plastic. I didn't know. But it's like, you know, sometimes you see a stain on your shirt, a little teeny stain. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So once I found out it was plastic, then it was like, oh, now I'm really extra holding it. But the first couple of days I had it, I didn't even know that the frame was plastic. That's a good thing, okay? And like I said earlier, it's actually heavier than the 10 Pro. So it does have a nice quality feel to it, okay? And I love this new finish on the back, no fingerprints. The finish on the back actually looks better than the finish on the 10 Pro. 
minimum branding, triple camera setup, okay? Volume up and down, I mean uh, volume up and down on one side, power button on the other side, nice and low, okay? Easy access to it, okay, on the top, should have been an IR blaster right there. That could have been a nice IR blaster, okay? But you got a mic, speaker grill, USB Type-C, and there's your SIM tray, okay? So the build quality, no IP rating, Again, <laughs> not the um, not the gold jet ski and phone, but it is what it is. All right, six hundred and fifty bucks. We're not really going to complain too much. Next, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Now, you already showed y'all the always on displays. This is the one I'm rocking right now. You see my notification? Let me wipe that down because I got OCD and I'm sweating. You see notification right there? How it's white? Let me see. Do I got any notifications on my Ten Pro? No, <laughs> I got notif no notifications, nobody loves you. All right, anyway, so you got your always on display. Now, a couple of different ways, you got face unlock, bong, look how fast that is, bong. Now, I'm not gonna look at it, okay? Now, as soon as I look at it, bong, just like that. And of course, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Now, you don't have to power the phone up like this. You could do it, you can go to settings and put it on fast unlock and do it with the screen off. Now, on the side note, I did cut my thumb, so if my fingerprint is a little bit um, <laughs> off, now that I'm in the knife community, I've just been playing around with knives all day and cutting off, um, you know, cutting off my calluses with knives. So I might have messed up my little fingerprint right there, but it's, as you can see for yourself, flawless, okay? OnePlus has always delivered in the biometrics department. Now, this is the global version, so of course you swipe over. You got your Google feed, 120 hertz, pretty dope. Now, not too many settings to go through. I'll just breeze through real quick. Let's see, um, private, okay, you got a private DNS, okay, Android Auto, VPNs, okay, NFC, everything on deck, screen cache, print screen. Let's go to personalization. Now, you see, a few always on displays. You do have a different, couple of different icon packs. And you now have a theme store, so you can actually change different themes. Okay, you can change your colors. Matter of fact, why am I on blue? I like red. Leave it on red. Okay, now you got different fingerprint style animations. Now this is kind of a, a, a kind of a nice feature for Oxygen OS. Finally getting some customization. Not as much as Color OS, but it's there. You got your horizon lights. Okay, let's keep everything red. You got your quick settings. Okay. Now, you can turn shelf on and off if you want. I'm going to leave that off. Let's go to display and brightness. Okay, image sharpener. Might as well leave that on. Okay, video enhancer. Leave that on. HDR video. Leave that on. Okay, screen refresh rate. Now, you got high or standard. Now, if you put it on a standard, it's going to cycle between 60 and 100, depending on the content. But, you know, with these kind of charging speeds, <laughs> who cares about battery? Leave everything on 120. Okay, let's see anything else to see here. Face unlock, fingerprint sensor, okay. You got Bluetooth unlock if you want also. Battery, okay, now this is actually a dual cell battery. Okay, so you got smart rapid charging. Might as well leave that on, prolong the life of your battery. Got some advanced settings, put on high performance mode, why not? Okay, why not? That's, the, that's one thing about having this fast charging speed. Who cares about all of these settings? Put everything on high, put everything on. Okay, for your special features, you got split screen multitasking. Okay, now this is the OnePlus shelf. Now, if you put that on, you're going to get this shelf right here. I like to leave that off because sometimes, if y'all seen for yourself, when I want to get my notifications, sometimes if you swipe from the right, you're going to be like, ah, fuck. <laughs> you know, you know, that's it. I like to have it like that. All right, but that's the shelf right there. A bunch of different options in the shelf. Let's go ahead and leave that off. Okay, work-life balance. You got Scout. Okay, and nothing really see there. Digital well-being. Monitor your scumbag activities. System settings. Let's go to accessibility. If you're hearing or visually impaired, you're good to go. Okay? You got OTG. You got RAM boost. Okay, I think you get an extra four gigs of RAM. Let's see. Backup and reset. That's pretty much it. Okay? This is pretty much like a stock Android experience. And some of y'all, that's what y'all want. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to like this one. Let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com, okay? Snapdragon 8 Plus, generation one. So you already know what that means, okay? 
nice and fast, silky smooth performance. And now this is one of the things that I love about OnePlus phones. Like they just work. Same thing with Pixel phones. You buy a OnePlus phone, you're not gonna have to worry about, oh, when is the next software update because my phone is doing this, doing that. You don't have to worry about that. All right, these phones work straight out of the box, okay? And they work the life of the phone. Let's go to split screen multitasking. Let's try some YouTube on the bottom. Okay. Got my troll account. <laughs> All right, so I got the fireplace going on the bottom. Let's see, matter of fact, say I want to watch one of my favorite court cases. Okay. Um, I don't think we said schoolgirl. You can watch my for favorite court case. Schoolgirl on the tape, but as far as that goes, yes. Now, let's Here's exit out of this. Dressing up like. Picture in picture. A horny little schoolgirl, for lack of a better word. <laughs> I right, chill, right? chill. Chill, Juan, chill. That's my guy, Juan Martinez. On a side note, if y'all want to see that, that's the best court case ever to watch. The Jody Arias case. I'm telling you, man. If you're into court cases, watch Jody Arias, and you just got to skip to day number 21 through day number 25. Those are the best couple of days. You could, Trust me, you're going to thank me later. All right, so no issues with the web browsing speeds. All right, so now let's test out the dual speakers. And for this sound test, I got another sound test. Okay, this is the sound check for floss by my man Rob Brown. Now, on a side note, if you never heard of Rob Brown, just go on YouTube and put in his name. He's real with it. Check this out. Sound check, floss. Sound check, sound check, floss. Sound check, floss. Sound check, floss. Speakers are nice and loud. Okay. Nice separation. Let's cover up the bottom. You how loud the top speaker is. Okay, let's go, Rob. Speaker does sound pretty good. Now I gotta watch the performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Brown. No issues with the speakers on this at all. Okay, they sound pretty good. Now let's take a look at this big, beautiful AMOLED display, which is basically bezel-less. Okay, look how thin these bezels are. Little punch hole camera. Excellent viewing angles. Okay, it's a lot of nits on the brightness. Real nice. This is how it's gonna look when you're watching your videos. This is A1. Let's keep it moving. All right, so let's try a little gaming. We got Asphalt 9 queued up. The speakers are actually loud. Okay. I'm on a new level now. Oh, I thought I was. <laughs> this is the same level. All right. Oh, double tap. Okay. Yeah, this is a new level, y'all. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I might have to start actually playing this game. Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh, I rap. Back up, bro. back up, bro. Let's go. Oh, I need that jump. I missed it. Get my little drift on. Okay. I'm trying to keep it in focus. Woo! All right, I like this track right here. Let's see, where, where we going? Where we going with it? Anyway, this is how gaming looks. I, I got to finish this level. Ah, oh, I rap. <laughs> anyway, gaming on the OnePlus 10T is official tissue. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, of course, you got your World Star Hip Hop button. Hit the power button twice. That'll bring you right to your camera. Point and shoot status. Okay. So let's go through some of the different shooting modes. You got night mode, and when you're in night mode, you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. You got video, 4K, 60 frames per second. On the front, 1080p. Now, of course, you could do wide angle, and you could zoom to 10, uh, 10x. 
You got photos, wide angle, all the way up to 10X. You got portrait mode, regular, and wide angle. And you got more. So you got pro mode, panorama, you got macro, movie, slow motion, time lapse, long exposure, dual view, uh, dual view video, and time shift. So let's take it over to macro. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to test out the macro camera. Everybody's saying the macro camera is pretty trash on this. Let's see, though. Shoes won't let me get up close. Okay. Actually, it looks pretty good, though. Let's see. All right. Now, I'll post these pictures. <laughs> you can see for yourself. I was taking some macro shots earlier. Look at this one. Okay. I mean, that one came out a little bit blurry. Look at white shoes, poor. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, hold on a second, y'all. I got to get this photo right here. Okay. Let's go to portrait mode. I need this one right here. All right, look at look at shoes right now. You know, I, I need this right here. Anyway, basic camera. No hassle brand, uh, branding on this one, but the pictures do look nice. Matter of fact, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. So now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent 650 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now this phone doesn't have wireless charge, so you're not gonna have it on the dock. But one of the best things about having this ridiculously fast battery charging speeds is you don't gotta charge your phone overnight. You can sleep with it under your pillow. Now when you wake up in the morning, your phone will be at 30, 40%, always on display, 
Okay, so roll over, look on your pillow. You see you're always on display. You got the time, you got the date, battery percentage, and your notifications. Soon as you wake up, the first thing you do, grab that charger, plug it in. Now you go take a shit, shower, and shave. By the time you finish doing that, your phone is going to be at 100%. I like that. Okay, I really like that. Next, excellent biometrics. All you got to do is pick up the phone and look at it. You don't got to touch anything. Bong, opens up just like that every time. Let's check the weather. Okay, 77 degrees. Let's see, tomorrow looks like 90 and sunny. Another hot day in New York City. Now, say you happen to have a cute cat sitting right next to you and you want to get a little photo. Bong, open up the camera. Point and shoot. And we got a little photo. Now, I did a portrait mode. Let's do a regular photo and see if we get some clarity. Okay, look at the clarity on this. Not bad at all, right? Not bad at all. Exit out of that. Now, of course, I got all my Gmail widgets. My Gmail widgets. I got my YouTube music widgets. Since it's Android 12, you're going to have all of the regular stuff, okay? So we got your Google feed. Breeze through that if you want. Let's see. Um, let's see Giannis, 70 million bucks. Okay. Today is the anniversary of Jadakiss in Madison Square Garden, destroying the dip set on Versus. Okay, OnePlus 10T review, the most pointless phone of 2022. <laughs> yo, shout out to CNET, yo. CNET don't give a fuck. <laughs> yo, CNET does not care, yo. They are not effing around, bro. I'm trying to be nice out here in these YouTube streets. CNET is like, yo, fuck this shit. Yo, this is the, the worst phone of 2020, most pointless phone. Damn, CNET, calm down. Damn, bro. Nah, but I respect them, though. I respect them for that. <laughs> That's just ruthless. All right, now, let's do a little bit of work. Okay, so I take it to my Gmail. Let's I reply to some messages. Uh, hey, what's up? Okay. Hey, what's up? What's Financial Daily Digest? Hey, what's up? <laughs> let's be friends. All right, so that's my work segment in the day. And also, while I'm doing my work, let's do some videos while we're working. So we do a split screen. I got to do all my emails. I want to watch some videos at the same time. So why not watch a nice flossy card of video while I'm doing some work? Bong, just like that. Now when I'm ready to dip, I can have that on in the background. Let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, so now I'm on Facebook. Let's exit out of that. You see how everything is just running nice and smooth? Okay. Let's see if any uh, anything popping off, anything we need to see. Okay, you know, this my, my dude with the beard always pop up in my, on my Facebook stream. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Bridge. Bridge got the Pro Dot coming out. I will review that. Okay. I might have to get a MacBook just for that. Shout out to my pops. Uh, he out here doing his thing. It's getting like that. Let's see. Um, oh, this is my homegirl. Yeah, we used to go um, go back and back in the days out in the gym. Yeah. Okay. Let me get a like that photo. We used to hang out back in the gym days. Okay. Would you like to see the president? Donald Trump. In <laughs> <laughs> Little Trump segment. Okay. Anyway, so this is how Facebook is going to look. But you see how smooth that is? Real nice. And we can exit out of that. Still scrolling while you exit out. Okay, so let's take it over to Twitter. All right, let's go to the mentions. It's going to be a lot of OnePlus activity on here. Let's see. Um, here we go. Shout out to Falsy Carter for his review. Pull me the trick on the, getting the best speaker. What speaker was that? Okay, the Marshall. All right, somebody jumped on the Marshall. Okay, that's a dope speaker. 100%. Let's see. What phone is this right here? That looks like a Galaxy Note. I don't know, but it looks like a Galaxy Note 20. I don't know. Let's see, um, folks are going to do a review. Okay, now look, everybody asking me about the Zen Phone 9. I might do it, but I don't like those teeny phones. Look how big and fat my fingers are. What am I going to do with that teeny phone? I might get one anyway just because, but I don't like small phones, though. Let's see, um, let's see, man, the best fold. Okay, so the Vivo Fold is the best fold. Yes, it is. All right, now, we got the Galaxy coming out next week. But I don't know. I don't know, man. We got to talk about this situation, man, because I think Galaxy is taking the L this year in the folds department. I, I don't care. I'm on Vivo's nuts right now. I don't care. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, Huawei. I'm not messing with no Huawei phones. Okay. Somebody review full. Uh, his reviews are always my go-to. I right, shout out to this dude, Just Lewis 15. I, that's, I respect that feedback, yo. Galaxy Buds 2 or nothing Ear 1s. It depends what phone you got, but personally, I would probably go with the Galaxy Buds 2 over the nothing Air 1s. All right, but I'll, I'll now look, let's uh, screenshot that to remind me to get to that later. Bong. Now, I could have did the three-finger three screenshot. Let's see. How, if, did I set? Yeah, there it is right there. 
and you can edit it just like that and save that. All right, but I don't really be using the three fingers too much. Giggity. All right, let's uh, let's get. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, that, that's it for Twitter. Now let's get let, let's amp it up a little bit. Let's take it over to TikTok. Now, of course, we got a little look at look at the look at the Maya. Look at the Maya. Look at the, look at the Maya. Oh, yeah, a little fashionista right here, you know, a little socialite. Now I'm a little bit sad because Maya just went back to Florida for the week, so you know, let me go ahead and just enjoy this moment for a minute. You know, what I'm saying, I gotta pinch those cheeks. All right, let's keep it moving. All right, now this is um. I right, Jim Jones. I right, shout out to Jim Jones, one of my guys right there. All right, it's my man Goob right here. Goob out here. He be exposing a lot of fitness fraud, Joe. He don't call them influencers. He call them shit fluences. <laughs> okay. Who this? Uh, tracks? Is it, let's see. That I don't know. I thought that was Max. All right, New York City subways. Okay, I don't really be flowing. What is what the? Bro, bro. Now, see, now, if that happened to me, I'm, I'm immediately going on the floor. I'm going to be like, my neck, my back, my neck, and my back. All right, I'm, I'm suing for six million dollars. I settled out of court for twenty five thousand, and um, and some free MTA, some free MTA cards here. Now this dude right here, respect this kid right here. I think he's the number one TikToker. I don't really be on TikToker, but I heard he's like the number one TikToker. Yeah. Matter of fact, let's let's click on his page. Yeah, hundred and forty eight million followers on this guy. I didn't know that TikTok be he was doing it like that, but this is obviously the man right here. Yeah. I don't really be on TikTok like that. Um, I just come through to look, do shit like this. I, for some reason, I just think TikTok is just more like kiddie-ish, but who knows? Anyway, okay, New York, but uh, maybe I'll start getting into TikTok. Who knows? All right, so then nothing really interesting going on. Okay, fatness. Anyway, so that's TikTok. Now, look, if you've got all these apps running in the background, okay, now I can just hit close all and boost the RAM, bong, just like that. Exit out. Now, let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, now y'all know. <laughs> let's see what's going down on Instagram. Now, look at this. This is street video. This guy was trying to mess. This is what he get. He was trying to run over a bunch of birds. Yeah, maybe you need to hit us with the volume on. <laughs> That's what he get. That's exactly what he get. I, you know, leave, leave nature alone. Right, shoes? Leave, leave, leave people alone, yeah. Oh, this is my man, Nikki. Look. I remember when my father drove one of these. This is the guy who does the Tony Soprano for me at the end. Look at this. Who are you, salesperson of the year or something? Why don't you uh, open up the trunk for me? Yo, so this, this is the guy. If y'all like, like his Tony Soprano uh, impersonation, trust me when I tell you. He's the best Tony Soprano impersonator that I've ever seen yet. Here's his uh, Instagram. Go check out some of his skits. He's mad funny. All right, mad funny. Okay, now this is, um, let's, let's turn the volume off on this one. It's a nice little dress right there, you know what I'm saying? Nice little dress. Okay, my man Cashflow Harlem, this is one of my dudes. He be spitting a lot of bars these days. Okay, let's see, sausage sandwich in memory of Paul Sorvino. That, that's the dude I couldn't remember, Big Paul, who passed away. I Big Paul and uh, Paulie Walnuts. Okay, now, I found a little trivia today too. I was talking to my man Michael Francese. You know, I know a lot of y'all don't know, but me and Michael Francese, you know, we kind of cool these days. I didn't know that Paulie Walnuts, his name is Paulie Walnuts because he jacked the truck that they thought had merchandise in it, but it was only walnuts. So <laughs> I was watching one of his videos. I thought that was funny, so I hit him up. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my man Michael Francese. Now let me stop. <laughs> I got tactical minded. Now I'm not even gonna click on this video because I already know this is a fatality. So we don't want to see that. Okay. Now we got the skeleton Cartier Santos bust down. I like that. Oh, but you ruined the value when you put diamonds in it. Shut the f up. Okay. Shut up. Your <laughs> regular Cartier, the value ain't that much anyway to begin with. Okay. Now what is this? My dude got like three hairstyles in one. <laughs> My dude walking around. My dude, what, bro? Bro, got a lace front on you? All right, chill, chill. Okay, now there's some flexibility right there, but it's a family show. I'm, hold on, let me just see that. What's going on? Jesus H. Ah, right, yeah, this is, this is a family show. Y'all don't want to see that. Trust me. All right, we got the gorilla. He threw the shit on the lady face. Okay, let's see anything. Oh, this is a family show. This is a family show. Sorry, shoes. I don't want to. I don't want to blow you up like that, shoes. All right, anyway, so this is how your Instagram is gonna look. Okay, I like to see cute cat videos. My man Colin, you know, you know, Second Amendment status. My man Knockout 360. I they they they, they always on some hemi shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm on Team Beam. Anyway, oh God, this is a family show. Uh, this is a, this is a, this is a family show. But just in, just in case, ladies, just see, I have to view that later. I'll view that later and let y'all know if y'all want to see that later. Anyway, 
RDA activities. No issues at all. You can use this as your main daily phone. You're not gonna have any problems. Let's kind of wrap this up. Overall, okay, overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the OnePlus 10T a major, major, major go. And like I said, the T stands for top tier. This is a top tier mid-range phone. Even though you got the flagship processor and GPU and all of that, this is real. This is really considered a mid-range phone because you don't got the flagship camera set up. You don't got the flagship build quality. You don't got all the flagship bells and whistles, no wireless charge, no reverse wireless charge, no IP rating, no quad HD display. This is not a flagship, but this is a top tier mid-range phone. Same thing with the 9T that I did yesterday. Now, let me see. After doing all of this, if I had to choose, all right, if I had to choose, let me pull that phone out right now one more time. If I had to choose, okay, let's see. <laughs> if I had to choose between the 9T and the 10T, here's my school of thought. If you live in the USA, okay, if you live in the USA and you don't want these um, Chinese phones, you're worried about getting 5G, you're worried about getting software updates, because a lot of people always ask me, why don't I talk about software updates? And the simple reason I don't talk about it is I can't talk about something that hasn't happened yet. Now, just because OnePlus says, okay, we guarantee you three years of software updates, that don't mean it's going to happen. How many times you bought a product and they're like, oh, well, you know, got a glitch on this. We're going to we're gonna send out an uh, update to fix it. Now you on social media. Oh, don't worry about you on everybody's video. Oh, don't worry about it. They're going to update it. Don't worry about it. They're going to update it. And then the year goes by with no update. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't talk me to death. Show me. All right? I don't really care about how many updates they're going to give me. Show me. I, when you buy the phone, show me. But if you if you worried about buying these Chinese phones, are you gonna get 5G service? Are you gonna get updates? Then this is not even an issue for you. Go with OnePlus, all right? This is guaranteed to work on your network. Okay, you're gonna get your 5G service. You're gonna get updates, speaking from experience. And also, even with the Chinese phones, now I don't really talk about it, but I do get updates. All right, I just got my ColorOS 13 update on my Oppo 5 X5 Pro. Just got the full ColorOS update. Okay, now people be asking me, oh, do these phones work on AT&T? The answer is yes. Okay, now I know some of y'all got AT&T and y'all be talking about uh, whitelisted phones and all of that. Look, you ever seen that movie Friday? I remember the original Friday and um, Chris Tucker, I Smokey, Smokey's mom's was like, yo, go to the store for me. And she gave him the, the couple of dollars to buy some cigarettes. And he was like, $2, that ain't enough. You better make it enough. And she was like, make it enough. You got to have that same mentality when you call AT&T with your Chinese phone and they say, oh, we can't activate it. You got to be like, well, they say oh, it's on a whitelist. Well, you better unwhitelist it. OK, make it work. It won't work on AT&T. Make it work. Or I'm taking my service and moving to T-Mobile. And I guarantee you they're going to come back on the phone like, oh, hold on a second. OK, now we can use it. I'm going to show you proof of that because I have my Xiaomi 12 Ultra. Okay, the Xiaomi 12 Ultra, I put my AT&T SIM card in it. It wasn't working. I called up AT&T. They was like, oh, you know, we can't activate that phone. I was like, okay, cool. Um, put me onto the cancellation department. They was like, how come? I was like, because I just spent $900 on this phone. Okay, you think, you think I'm getting rid of it for, for y'all when I can put it on T-Mobile? Can't transfer me over. All of a sudden now, here comes somebody. Oh, do me a favor, press pound, pound, six. Oh, oh. Now, all of a sudden now, I'm getting full service with 5G. And I'm not just going to talk y'all to death. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to show y'all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, when I do my Xiaomi 12 Ultra video, I'm going to show you 5G service on Sprint, and it's going to be working fine. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just talking I'm gonna back it up. But back to what I was saying. Now, if I had to choose, personally, I would probably go with the 9T because I need the IR blaster. Not to mention, I, <laughs> come on. <laughs> do, do, I have, do I even have to say it? The BMW stripe, do I have to say it? Carbon fiber, okay? Aluminium, or as we say in America, aluminum. Okay, you got the aluminum trim. You know, this phone just feels better. It's wider. I got fat fingers, so it's easier for me to type. Okay, this has a 120 watt fast charge. Okay, this is 125 watt. So basically the same charging speeds, but I'll put it to the test tomorrow. But my biggest difference would be the IR blaster. That's why I would get this phone. Now, personally, again, I don't really buy phones worrying about, oh, am I going to get five years of updates? Okay, I'm not keeping a phone for more than a year. Two years would be max. And nowadays, with all these trade-ins and all that, you don't got to keep a phone for two years. You don't have to do that, especially with Samsung phones. Right, you buy a Samsung phone every year trading in. Every year, I'm noticing they're giving you more and more money to get the newer phone. 
Okay, so you don't really got to get too worried about, oh, how many updates and blah, 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 unless you plan on keeping this for six years. All right? Other than that, just enjoy the phone, yo. Enjoy the phone. I said that to say this, but if you live in the USA and you just want a nice, smooth, clean, reliable phone with a pretty good camera, excellent battery, excellent battery charging speeds, probably the best on the market, okay? Silky smooth OS, no hiccups, no lag. This is it. Okay, one plus 10T, triple major go, and at 650 bucks, you actually getting more RAM than you are on the 9T. So this is a win, all right? 650 bucks, the price is right. Anyway, one plus 10T, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And tomorrow, all right, tomorrow, I'm gonna do the Xiaomi 12 Ultra real review. Okay, that's Thursday. Then Friday, we got the nothing phone, all right? We're gonna do the, here's, some, here's my schedule. Let me give y'all the schedule. Friday, we got the, I mean, Thursday, the Xiaomi 12 Ultra. Friday, we got the nothing phone. Then Saturday, I told y'all Saturday, we're going to do fun videos. So I'm, it depends if I, if I go out on Friday night or not. And if I get too many drinks, I can't drink two days in a row. It depends what I do. But Saturday, we're going to do something fun. Maybe cooking with floss. Maybe the, the liquor taste test. Maybe the sneaker video. Maybe the war stories. I don't know. We're going to do something fun on Saturday. Sunday, okay, um... I got some new speakers I want to show y'all. I'll bring that on Sunday. And then Monday. Okay, Monday, we got the Vivo. All right, we got the new big Vivo on deck, the mystery phone. Tuesday, we got the new Galaxy uh, Book 360. And then after that, it's going to be time for Samsung Unpacked. And then we're going to be going Samsung Mania. All right, we're going to be going crazy. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching these long videos. Now, look, let me say this also. I know I'm rambling. But a lot of people be saying my videos are too long. And my only response to that is, I don't make these long videos so I can put 10 ads in the video and all that. Y'all see, I only put two ads in my videos, if whether my video is 10 minutes or an hour. You're only going to get two ads. The reason I make these videos so long is all day long, you've been watching one plus 10 T videos. It feels like you in school. When I make my videos, I try to make them with real life examples. I try to talk to y'all like I talk to my friends. I try to throw in a few jokes here and there, a little humor to keep the video lighthearted. And not to mention, I'm trying to show y'all as much stuff as I can. When I first started making videos on YouTube, that was my main reason for making videos. I want people to get the full experience before you spend your money. Because look, 650 bucks, depending on who you are, that might be pocket change. But to a lot of people, 650 bucks, that's a lot of money. Okay, you're getting ready to drop 650 bucks on a phone. I want you to see everything it does, everything it doesn't do. And then I want to play with it right in front of your eyes. So this way, by the time you finish this watching, watching this video, there shouldn't be any questions about this phone. All right, everything should be covered. All of the settings, all of the features. I want you to get the full experience. Okay, now I don't put timestamps on my videos because I don't make my videos to be skipped. All right, these are not videos. These are films. All right, I make YouTube films. You don't go to the movies and be like, oh, shit, this is the boring part. They're getting ready to kiss. Let me, I want to skip this. No, you got to watch that, yo. That's that's part of the film. <laughs> so all, all of my bullshit that I talk in my videos is part of this film experience. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss on that one. Dude, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Energize.
situation where everybody in the world uses technology. And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.